Yeah, like you say, he's been really good for us the whole year. And he was one of those where, you know, timely hitting there, ball got, you know, through the infield on the right side. Uh, one of those outings where, you know, it was a battle for him, but he kept ma- ma- kept making pitches, and they just got him there for that run. Does uh, Arvaez have to put his body in front of that uh, ball in the dirt? That's a tough one. I, I will have to go back and, 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 and look at him. It's a, probably a tough pitch. From the dugout, it looked like he was sitting up inside. It was way off, so. What's your main takeaway from this? series this road trip yeah tough road trip you know uh it's a tough one you know started in uh philly then going down in miami and lo- losing a couple of games and then getting swept here obviously tough you know but now we got to go home uh day off tomorrow regroup and then back at it on friday and uh, start going here uh you, because overall it was was pretty tough do you worry it was, you know, you're 700 500 i mean do you worry this thing's getting away from you before you even get to june here you know, you know, we got work to do, uh, but I'm pretty confident on our guys here. Uh, it's just, you know, going through a tough stretch right now, but I'm pretty confident that the guys will continue to work and uh, we'll, we'll get through it. When you guys got to Philly, well, I got to Miami off after that win in Philly, you said it's important for the team to get on a roll. What does it mean that that hasn't happened? Um, it happens, you know. Um, Guys are competing, you know, uh, from the offensive side. I feel like guys are putting together really good at bats. Uh, right now, we just, you know, we, we're not putting it together. Uh, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident that the guys will continue to work. And starting Friday, we'll we'll get something going here. What is giving you that amount of confidence? A lot of guys with uh, a lot of good at bats now. You know, you start seeing signs of McNeil, Lindor, and you know, up and down the lineup, you're getting uh, contributions. And now we just, you know, got to put it together and, play, and start playing complete games. What is your takeaway from the pitching overall on this road trip? We had we had ups and downs, you know, um, and that is one of those where <clears throat> when we're when we're pitching, we're not getting the time we're hitting, and then when we're hitting, you know, so we just got to start playing complete games, you know, uh, finishing games when we have to. Uh, putting <clears throat> uh, quick zeros, uh, shutdowns in when we score, and right now, you know, we're having a hard time doing that. When you first went to Garrett for the seventh, what was plan A there for the late innings if things went ideally for you? Well, you had Reed Garrett and Otto there. You know? so those two for three innings? Yeah, well, yeah. we were, we were going to piece it together. Yeah. So, you know, we have a few guys down and uh, felt like in that particular spot, you know, we were not in a position to, to go with our guys. When Quintana goes into the six with that low pitch count, are you thinking maybe you can get him through seven? Of course. You know, especially with the way he was throwing the ball. Uh, the pitch count was low, but then felt like, you know, the bunt single, obviously the double, and then getting behind um, Jimenez. Uh, yeah, so, but, uh, you know, the whole time when he's going through the, those middle innings, I'm thinking he's probably going to go deep, especially with the way he's throwing the ball, but he just he happened quick on this. That, I mean, that seems to be a point of frustration that you haven't been able to get that little extra from the starters to get that extra inning from them. Yeah, like I say, you know, there'll be there's been outings where we get, you know, that the, the starting pitchers are going deep, but then there's the ones where we're only getting five, you know, five and a third. But like I say, when you're going through it, you know, it's, uh, it's part of it, and we just got to continue to work and continue to fight. Obviously, it's a very long season, but when you are seven under at this point, does a sense of urgency start to creep in more than it normally would? Yeah, there's always sense of urgency. You know, uh, every game matters. You know, uh, can be looking at the standings right now. Uh, it's one of those where every game, every game matters. And you know, uh, like I said, we're gonna go home uh, off tomorrow, and then Friday back at them. Given that the urgency's there, you like the at bats, the efforts there. What can be done differently? Well, I mean. It's just, you know, a little bit of everything, you know. we got to regroup, like I said, as a coaching staff. Uh, see some of, some of the things that we need to get better at. But you're always looking for ways to improve, whether that's pitching, defense, hitting, uh, base running, every area. You're always looking for a way to improve. And, you know, we'll, we'll get together and uh, we'll get these guys going. Do you think there's been a correlation between putting Vientos in that spot and McNeil getting hot? Well, not necessarily. I mean, Vientos is having good at bats. McNeil, like I said a couple of days ago, I like how McNeil is uh, filling out the play. There's, he's showing some signs that he's impacting the baseball, uh, and we saw it again today. So, have you guys decided if you're sticking with the two third baseman beyond today? We haven't decided anything yet. Did Quintana just leave that pitch up to Jimenez? Bad yeah. count. Oh, yeah. yeah, he got behind, and then that three-one fastball. Uh, obviously, he knows he's got Ramirez and. Maybe got a little bit too careful there and got behind and they just left that pitch all over the plate.